Hello everyone! This month, Humble chose to give us a few games less than the month prior. So does this mean that all the games are going to be higher quality? Today I'll be going over each of the games briefly and giving my thoughts summarizing the Humble choice at the end so you can decide for yourself whether to purchase or pause this month. Before we begin, the giveaway winner for Borderlands 3 from last month's video was Cahill, so congrats to them for winning. I'll be giving away another one of my games from the choice this month, so stay tuned if you're interested in winning a free game. So first up here today, we have Desperados 3. Now this is a strategy game, uh, very story driven, uh, kind of an RTS tactical stealth game kind of thing where you got to move your guys through the level. Uh, there's like five different characters you can play as in the Wild Wild West uh, kind of theme setting. And the whole uh, idea of the game is to make your way strategically through these levels, plan ahead, make the smartest decision and complete the level in the best way possible. To the right person, this is probably an amazing game with a lot of replayability and gameplay. Uh, however, I'm not that right person. I know I would not play this game that much as I'm just not really into games like this. So I'm gonna be giving this one away this month. Uh, so stick around to the end of the video uh, to find out how to win this game for yourself. Next up, we have Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now this is a special version of the game. This is actually on Origin for starters. This isn't on Steam, it's on Origin. Um, but secondly, it includes not only one Mass Effect, but Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3, uh, with over 40 DLC from the series, all remastered and optimized in 4K HD. Um, so if you've ever wanted to play any of the Mass Effect games with amazing remastered graphics, now is your chance. You do have to use Origin, but there's remastered graphics, and you get the whole trilogy here from the first three games. Um, I've actually been meaning to play the first Mass Effect and the second one, so now I get to play all three of them. Uh, so this is actually a pretty good addition to the to the bundle. Even though it's not on Steam, uh, it's still an amazing deal to get all of these in the bundle this month. The final kind of bigger title that we have in the choice this month is Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl. Now this one I'm very biased on as I've put a lot of hours into Smash and just Smash spinoffs in the past. So I've definitely played a lot of um, type fighting games like this and this one looks a lot like a lot of fun. Uh, it just came out last year in 2021. Um, not the best reviews on Steam I noticed, um, but still this one looks like a lot of fun. Pretty much Super Smash Bros, but with Nickelodeon characters. I'm not sure how good the gameplay is as I haven't tried it yet, but this is a, at full price a $50 game and it's still fairly new, so I think this is a very good addition to the bundle. If you don't want this one, you probably have someone on your friends list who does. Next year we have Dark Pictures Anthology Man of Medan. Um, now the trailer for this one is a little bit um, confusing, it doesn't really give you that much to go off of, so I'm just playing some gameplay here. Uh, but this is pretty much just a horror game that you can play with your friends. Uh, the graphics look pretty darn good. And I'm assuming normally, like with games like this, the story is also pretty good. Or there's like multiple storylines or endings or stuff like that. So this one doesn't look that bad. Um, this one also kind of stood out to me as it looks like it has remote play. Uh, it's definitely uh, co op. You can play with at least one player online or up to five players offline. But it does say it's remote play on the Steam Store. So I'm pretty sure this one should be remote play as well, which would be kind of fun, honestly, playing through a horror game with a friend. Uh, otherwise, I would never look twice at a game like this. Red Solstice 2 Survivors is another RTS strategy game, uh, kind of similar to Desperados 3, where pretty much it's like a top-down game where you're making your way through the map, uh, trying to survive and defeat enemies by controlling your guys from an aerial view. Uh, this one kind of reminds me of Halo Wars, uh, with big bosses that you have to fight. And this one has up to 8-person co-op, um, not remote play, but if you each have a copy of the game, you'll all be able to play with up to 8 of your friends, which is honestly pretty cool with a game like this. There also seems to be a lot of content with this game, like you probably won't get bored. I don't know if I would ever buy this on my own, however, as an addition to the humble choice, I definitely like this, like to see games like this, as there's a ton of replayability, and there's the option to play either solo or with friends, it's not forced one or the other. I think this one's called the Buckhead Nezer. Pretty much this is a uh, classic isometric CD builder game, uh, just about colonization, uh, solving problems, and growing your city to the biggest it can be. The graphics are kind of questionable, but the Steam page does say it was released last year, uh, so I'm not sure if it was like remastered or like what's up with the graphics, um, but honestly it doesn't look too bad. It's kind of hard to judge how the gameplay with a game like this is without actually playing the game for like a couple hours. Uh, this one does kind of look like it's there's enough going on to keep you busy, but not too much that you're overwhelmed and it's too complex. Um, so I'm actually looking forward to starting this one. This one looks pretty fun. Next up here we have Police Story. So this one kind of looks like a Hotline Miami uh, spinoff kind of game, um, but cop themed. 
Uh, so you're making your way through buildings. You just have uh, different missions to do. You're defusing bombs or neutralizing criminals or rescuing civilians. This or that. Uh, it looks pretty interesting enough just based on the fact that each level is unique. So each level is going to be different every time. But there also is an online co-op mode. Uh, so you can play with your friend. Looks like it has re uh, remote play, so you wouldn't, your friend wouldn't need the game. You can just play by yourself and have your friend play along, uh, which would honestly make this game a lot more fun. I do really like when games offer co-op or remote play, as I feel like it adds a lot of value to the game. Uh, so this is another one I wouldn't normally really jump out at, but the fact that it has unique levels and co-op makes me actually pretty excited to try it out. Now for the last spot of the bundle this month, we have Evan's Remains. Now this is kind of classified as like a mystery thriller puzzle adventure game uh, where the main character is just trying to find this boy named Evan. This one doesn't look too bad. It does look like one of those games that could go either way. Like you could play it and like it a lot or you could play it and never want to play it again. Um, the last spot on the Humble Choice is usually hit or miss. Um, so this one, honestly, I don't really know. Usually it's hard to tell with these kind of games until you actually play it. But just from the graphics or from the trailer, this one looks fun enough. So now for the question of the whole video, do I think the Humble March choice is worth it? Honestly, yes I do. If you like even two of these three main uh, headliner games here of the choice this month, I think this is worth it. As paying about $12 for even two of those games is a steal. However, if the top three games don't look that appealing to you, uh, you may want to rethink it in the bundle this month. Just because there's not really th that many games this month, so if you don't, if you aren't going to play any of the first three, that's over half the Humble Choice value that you're missing out on, and almost half the games that you're missing out on. Um, honestly, with this new format that Humble's been trying to do with the Choice every month, where it seems like they're doing like less games, but more higher quality games, more AAA games, and I'm honestly all for that. I would much rather be able to add one or two AAA games to my library every month than having a bunch of random indie games that I've never heard of that I might play once and then forget about ever existed. If you're interested in joining the giveaway for Desperados 3, simply leave a comment down below mentioning Desperados somewhere in the comments and I'll enter you into the giveaway and I'll be deciding the winners right before I upload my video for the next month's choice. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.